Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this brick video here, I'll be showing you how to pressure test your cooling system in your vehicle. This will help you determine if your system has a leak and potentially allow that leak to show up depending on its location. A leak in a cooling system will not only cause a loss of fluid, but also cause poor cooling performance issues too. With decreased pressure, this also decreases the system's boiling point. For this I'll be using my OEM Tools 27068 Universal Cooling System Pressure Testing Kit from Mold Distributor Supply. This can work on most vehicles and can have extra attachments purchased as well for additional vehicles. It comes with everything you need in a neatly packed blow mold case. This includes three expandable rubber adapters which provide a tight fit when tightened in the radiator fill point or expansion tank, depending on your vehicle's cooling system design. A link to this will be included in the video description. Simply screw on the rubber adapter to the flange attachment and this will then connect to the hand pump. There is a rotational lever on the top which locks it down so it's a tight seal. This is for the removal and installation of that flange attachment. Ensure your vehicle cooling system is cold so we don't risk the chance of burning ourselves. Next is locating and removing your radiator cap. Here I'm working with my 2006 Dodge Ram. This is one example. On the radiator cap you will have the required system pounds. This is needed to be known for pumping up the system to the correct pressure measurement. Don't exceed this measurement as you may potentially cause damage. Make sure the system is full of coolant or water if you are doing the repair right away. Air can compress more than water so it will take you longer to pressurize the system. With water in the system you will be able to see the spot where it's leaking easier as liquid will come out instead of air. Next is installing the rubber adapter with the one side of the flange. Once in place, then tighten. The rubber will expand in a hole creating a tight fit allowing you to pressurize the system. Connect the flange to the pump side. Flip the rotational latch to ensure it's locked into place. Using the hand pump, bring the system up to the correct pressure listed on the radiator cap. Then monitor the gauge for a pressure drop. If a leak is present, the pressure will drop and you may potentially hear or see liquid dripping. As a second example, if you have a pressurized reservoir tank, then you will need to test the system here instead. This is a 2010 BMW 335D. Again, you will need to pick the appropriate attachment, tighten it and ensure it doesn't leak, then lock on the flange attachment. Pump the system up to the appropriate pressure rating and monitor the gauge. This particular cap doesn't state the system pressure, however that information can be found online or in a repair manual. Common areas to look for are the rubber coolant hoses, such as the radiator or heater core hoses. It could be something as simple as a loose clamp. Other areas can include a water pump, thermostat housing, heated upper intakes, the side tanks on a radiator, around the head, frost plugs, heater core, etc. With a heater core, you may notice fluid inside the cabin of the vehicle, around the footwell area, or dripping from the duct drain. This could be something as complicated as a leaking head gasket or cracked block. An additional assist for finding a leak is putting a dye in the system and then using a UV light. I have produced a video on this in the past, so be sure to check it out. I would keep an eye on the gauge for about 10 minutes. If the pressure doesn't drop over that period, then there is no leaks. If a leak isn't found, it could be hidden in an area such as a valley pan under the intake, a water jacket leaking through the head gasket, inside the engine, etc. This will depend on the vehicle and how the engine is designed. Once you have repaired the system, it's always a good idea to retest that system to ensure the problem has been fixed. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found the story helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.